This is Russian organized crime at work. These undercover pictures show the ruthlessness of the latest red peril, the Russian mafia, involved in murder, drugs, money laundering, and now thought to be selling nuclear secrets and weapons parts to the highest bidders. These pictures were taken in Russia, but the peril has spread to the West. The mere threat of uh, a nuclear disaster, which we could experience here as anywhere in the world, uh, and more importantly, the maintenance of uh, civil order, uh, I think it has to be and is certainly with me a very, uh, very, very top priority. FBI Director here. Lewis Free tells a U.S. Senate committee of the threat. It's known that 24 groups are operating in the United States, over 100 in Europe, including Britain. And in the past 18 months, the Russian authorities have investigated 47 cases involving radioactive materials. There's no evidence that a Russian nuclear warhead has been stolen, but the U.S. authorities don't know how many warheads exist. And Interpol recently issued a worldwide alert after a small amount of enriched uranium, the type used in weapons, was stolen in St. Petersburg. The fact that that amount would be missing is uh, suspicious enough to policemen and policemen around the world that it's the focus of a lot of attention and investigation. I believe that American government is spiking the news, really, and uh, does not want to show the quantity of crime being committed by the Russian mafia here in the United States. Boris Korchak is a former CIA agent who infiltrated the KGB. He's been investigating the Russian mafia and is convinced they are selling nuclear components. I believe that uh, the Russian mafia is right now supplying Saddam Hussein with a lot of uh, equipment, military equipment from former Soviet Union. Mm, quite probable that a great part of it is um, also uh, parts for nuclear weaponry. And he says the Mafia has reached Britain. Britain is extremely uh, important and as I see it, and with uh, all sympathy to Britain, I see it defenseless. And how far have they infiltrated Britain so far, do you know? I would say that 35% of crime, heavy crime, committed in Britain is of foreign origin, uh, came from Russia with no love. He says Britain is being used for drug running operations through Europe and for selling fake gold. As a matter of fact, this is a product that's sold widely in Britain. It looks extremely genuine. It says Credit Suisse 50 gram fine gold with all the stamps all the markings of a genuine thing. So serious is the threat that Russia now has a top official for fighting organized crime. We understand the uh, concern in this area and we are controlling the situation. And the FBI is opening an office in Moscow. Director Free will go there this month to establish joint intelligence in an attempt to stop the mafia before the mafia gets the bomb. Maxine Mawinney, GMTV News.